Thousands of documents and emails were released today on former University of Idaho professor Ernesto Bustamante. Now, KXOI went to court to get the school to release information detailing investigations and complaints against a 31-year-old professor. He fatally shot his former student and girlfriend, 22-year-old Katie Benoit, and then killed himself in August. KXOI 4's Eric Maloney spent all day reading thousands of documents. He joins us live. Eric, some pretty revealing stuff there. Oh, there's a lot of it here. The documents say Bustamante was getting positive reviews from administrators is even nominated for the university's annual Excellence in Teaching Award in 2009. Now, the first blemish to his record came in late 2010 when an anonymous caller claimed Bustamante was having sex with students. The complaint even alleged orgies. Now, records show Bustamante denied the allegation and the student involved refused to come forward. Seven months later, in June of this year, Katie Benoit filed a formal complaint. It said they had a sexual relationship. Benoit wrote Bustamante was unpredictable, made threats, and held a loaded gun to her head three times. Documents say she claimed Bustamante had five personalities, each with its own name, like Ernie, the Beast, and the Baby. She said he had at least five guns and was armed at all times, including while on campus. A university timeline shows the university prompted Benoit multiple times this summer to go to police and be careful. When administrators met with Bustamani in July, a letter told him not to wear a coat to the meeting because of concerns he could be armed. Documents say Bustamani claimed Benoit was bipolar, a drug dealer who once stole his prescription drugs. He admitted he had sex with Benoit and other students, and on July 19th, he resigned. His contract officially ended a month later. Now, three days after that, Bustamani tracked down Bonoit at her apartment and shot her multiple times. He committed suicide in a Moscow hotel later that night. Now, we put more than 50 documents received today online. Be sure, be sure to check them out on KXY.com where those records are posted. We'll have more on KXY4 News at 6.